Guys, I'm sorry, but men's cast is awful. I tried to recreate my sim self because my old sim self had the dyed red hair and I was overweight. So I wanted to change it to be more realistic to how I am now anyway. It was so hard. Men's cast in The Sims 4 is not great. I'm sorry, but it is pretty awful. We have a lot of stuff, a lot of questionable stuff. We have many different versions of the exact same thing. It just doesn't feel like we've got anything that's actually nice or substantial and do you know what I've worked out I think I think I've worked out this is the worst <laughs> this is the worst the 2002 Justin Bieber hair anyway what I think the problem is is that we have a lot of stuff but we don't really have that much normal stuff you know this looks like something out of Final Fantasy do you know what I mean why you know all this why does it have such a strict line around the hairline why can't it be a nice normal gradual fade and why do we have so many female hair meshes plopped on to men. I know what you're going to say, Satch. Anybody can have any hair because hair is not constrained by biology. Guys, I don't care about biology. The majority of men do not have hair like this or like this. They don't have hair like this. They don't have hair like this. These are clearly the women's meshes plopped onto men because they couldn't be bothered to do something separate. Let's be brutally honest about that. Yes, men can have long hair, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But a lot of it is just the women's plopped onto the men's. Let's be honest. Do you know what I really want? I just want a normal face. A fade is one of the most universally normalized acceptable haircuts in the majority of countries in the world. I don't know why we can't just have a few normal looking fades. <laughs> is that so much to ask? Is something normal? It's not just the hair. Like when I was remaking my sim self in the formal outfits, I really wanted just a plain black suit and tie. We don't have any. This is the issue, okay? The issue with all of the men's casts is that there's so much stuff, yet there's nothing that's just simple and normal. You know, so many hairs, no normal short back and sides. So many different formal suit tops. You know, we've got this one with vintage glamour, but all of the colours are weird and the ties are weird. The closest thing we have to a normal one is this one, but even then the tie is stripy. There's no just like plain black tie. All of the men's suits have these bows. Guys, that's very, it's very Americanized, I believe, to have a bow like that. I, don't, I haven't seen it anywhere else. We've got crazy crap like this. We've got crazy stuff like this. You know, we've got this one in my wedding stories. It's nice, I admit, but most of them guys are very different. There's not just like a plain suit and there's not just like a, you know, a plain suit top. Same with normal shirts, okay? I like to wear button up shirts a lot of the time, button all the way done up, sleeve straight down, just a plain basic shirt, but there's none. The base game one here, okay, the button, it's nice. It's a nice normal shirt, but I don't like the buttons all the way down. I want a buttoned up one. This shirt as well, it's not buttoned up, it's not smart. You know, this one tucked in at the sides with a turtleneck underneath or sat about. I mean, to be fair, this one's all right from get to work. One of the worst packs for cast has an okay shirt even then it's got a weird design on the pocket. This one from Dream Home Decorator looks like a pajama top. This one from Growing Together is a nice design, but it's very like overly baggy and tucked in and it looks strange. We've got some leather daddy nonsense going on over here. <laughs> like we haven't just got like a normal shirt. We don't have just like a normal straight up shirt. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Same with polos. Okay, I love polos. I love a nice button up polo. This one looks like a bowling top. Why is it in so many vibrant swatches? I don't understand. This one is okay, but the the buttons aren't up and I like them with the buttons done up because this looks sloppy. This one is very baggy and it's very old fashioned. This one is extremely wide. I don't know why this one is so wide. This one, I don't like it. It just looks off. The collar's huge. The buttons are huge. It looks messy. This one is just, you know, another vintage looking one. This one, this one is not masculine. You wouldn't see me dead in something like that. This one looks like it was from Primark and the buttons are not done up. This one and this one are basically the same thing. This one is not even a polo top. Why is it in the category? This one has a paw print on it. This one is a polo top with a t-shirt over it. What the hell is that about? Again, just a messy one. This is the nicest one I could find. All right, because it looks very fitted, but I like the buttons done up. But this one, do you know what? I give this one credit. It's all right, but it's still not perfect. We don't just have like one straight normal polo. Do you know what I mean? Guys, same with jeans. All right, there are so many pairs of jeans in this game, yet not really one normal looking pair. <laughs> They're all just a little bit off and weird in some kind of way. Ironically, these Get Famous jeans are one of the most normal looking ones, but they've got a weird belt attached to it, so you can't wear them. You know, this was a fashion trend maybe, you know, 10 years ago, not anymore. You know, some of them are nice, don't get me wrong, and they suit a certain type of person. We just don't have many normal looking ones, and you click something, you think it's normal, and oh, look, it's cuffed at the bottom. Same with shorts. Okay, guys, I find the shorts very strange in The Sims 4 for men because they're either very short, like proper shorts, shorts or they're very long fun dad shorts and there's an 
not really that much in between. Like you're either a fun dad or you're a twink and there's absolutely no in between. <laughs> I mean this, what on earth happened to you? If I saw somebody in this, I think what on earth happened to you? I'd go over, I'd say, are you okay? I'd say, what happened? You know, same with a lot of the tops. It's very twinky. And I think, you know what I mean when I say that? Full body outfits as well for men. These are the most neglected cast category, I think ever. And guys like this, this looks like something out of a 2004 gang thriller movie or something. We've got a nice little plush tracksuit here, but it's weirdly tight and it's very, I don't know, I want to say femboy, not femboy, you know what I mean? We've got a leotard, we've got a football outfit with pickaxes on it, and we've got a tracksuit that makes you look like MC Hammer, but we haven't got any like normal men's tracksuits or anything. You know, we've got all these sweatshirts. There is not literally one single plain nice normal sweatshirt. I just feel like we've got so much stuff, yet nothing at the same time. And I think it's just because there's so much random crazy stuff. It doesn't make sense. And the socks. Do you know what annoys me, right? The Sims team, it seemed to have a fetish for cropped stuff because everything in this game is cropped. When you put cropped stuff with normal trainers, this is what annoys me about socks for men as well. Okay, it's a very small thing. You've either got the short socks that don't go all the way up or you've got to get like the really, really long, unnecessarily long fun dad socks. And I don't understand why we don't have any normal socks. Do you know what I mean? That is a small thing, I admit. That is me being nitpicky. And I'll be honest, a lot of it doesn't feel like very masculine. For me personally, most of it is either very flamboyant or like horrifically unfashionable. I asked you guys on YouTube what you thought was wrong with men's casts. More masculine clothes and men's cast is very gender neutral, but really just looks better on women. The Sims 4 is afraid of masculinity. There is so little male cast and the majority of it is very gender neutral looking. I think there should be three options, feminine, masculine and gender neutral, which would make it a lot better for dressing more menly men. They need better hairstyles. To be honest, in base game, I feel like all the masculine hairstyles are exact same. Also, they need more masculine style clothing because I swear the only thing the Sims team does is gender neutral. They just give male Sims rejected female cast and then pretend like they're doing something woke. Maxis always makes female clothes and then just gives it to male cast and says it's masculine when it's most definitely not. There's so many more feminine stuff than masculine. There aren't enough masculine clothes. More masculine hair. It's very clear a lot of men's cast doesn't feel very masculine. In the more recent packs it feels very apparent that the Sims team are focusing on making a lot more gender neutrally things and a lot more kind of soft boy things which is fine. Lovely. The Sims should have one of everything. That's fine. And before you will call me they them phobic, the whole point of diversity and inclusivity is to include everyone. If you only include a minority but not the majority, you're being exclusive which defeats the whole point of being inclusive. You need to be inclusive to people who want to make masculine sims who don't look like femboys. Am I saying that out of a place of internalized homophobia because I know I'm going to get tweets saying that or comments saying that it's not. Couldn't give less for shit if you're a femboy. Couldn't care less. But the truth is it's hard to make a masculine looking sim who doesn't look like a fun dad or who doesn't look very out of place. And I think the Sims team needs to stop being afraid of traditional masculinity. It's not toxic. Being masculinity isn't bloody toxic. <laughs> it's just normal. It's fine. People like masculinity. There's nothing wrong with it. You can't gaslight me into all of this. We have to modernize. No, we don't have to modernize. We can have femboy, whatever, soft boy core stuff, gender neutral stuff. We can have that, but we also need masculine stuff too. We should have both, not just one. If the Sims team don't know how to be trendy without making it look gender neutral, then they need to speak to fashion designers. They need to have a look on Google, Pinterest, whatever they can, just to try and figure it out. I know me saying this is going to upset a lot of people and come across offensive. I'm not meaning it in an offensive way, but EA needs to look outside of the US for inspiration because I find a lot of the men's cast looks very American and I think they need to look especially around Europe because clearly the Sims team don't understand how to make something look fashionable without making it look femboy. I think if they took a look at European fashion, they'd find a way of doing men's stuff which is masculine, but also trendy at the same time. I wish there was more subculture inspiration in the clothes. For example, everything for women in culture living was given a cottage core queen. I assume they meant theme. While men's clothing was just, I like to play in the dirt sometimes. Again, I do agree. Cottage living cast for female sims is actually really lovely. And some of the men's stuff isn't bad. But to be honest, it can sometimes feel like like a little bit of an afterthought, to be honest. Nothing upsets me more than going into the full body category for hot weather outfits and seeing three outfits. Not to mention that two of those outfits are alien costumes and the third one is reserved for elderly men on vacation in Hawaii. So yeah, 
this is the hot weather stuff for men, apparently. <laughs> Full body is definitely, as I said before, the most neglected for male sims. I would love to see more beard facial hair options. A lot of people are saying about hair as well, wishing that we have more hair. From what I gather by all of the comments, we basically need more of everything. <laughs> and it's a shame because the Sims team have invested in making so much stuff. Like there is literally tons of stuff. It's just the one thing that they failed to do is just to make basic normal looking stuff. We've got so much elaborate stuff for male Sims, but absolutely nothing plain and simple. And I think that's just what people want. They want plain, simple, something a bit smart, masculine, suitable for an adult male. What I mean by that is like the adult's life stage. And I think we'd all be fine. And don't get me started on the gender gap in Sims 4 cast because there's significantly more stuff for women than men. Anyway, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. Guys, thank you very much for watching my little rant. I hope EA sees my little rant too. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy the next one recommended. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.